ABCD pattern is the basis for all harmonic structures and it consists of two legs that ideally are the same size, but this is not always the case. The CD leg may sometimes extend to 1.272 or even 1.618 times the AB leg's length, which we refer them as alternate ABCD patterns. In an ABCD structure, the C point is a defining level for guessing the completion of the pattern in point D. Although the BC extension is also crucial in this structure, this table contains all the ratios inside the ABCD pattern to help us identify our D point. Let me go into more details here. For example, if the C point retraces the AB leg by 0.382, the chances are that the D point makes a deep correction and hits the 2.24 or 2.618 extensions of the BC leg. If the C point retraces the AB leg by 50%, the D point makes a milder correction, and we must look for it to hit the 2BC extension. The other ratios work based on the same logic. If we wanted to sum up everything we've talked about so far in one picture, this is what it would look like. I used the Bitcoin chart to show what a bearish ABCD looks like. This pattern is apparently visible in the price action here. The outcome of this structure, like other harmonic patterns, is to determine the exact position of point D. Here, we are looking for a PRZ or price reversal zone where different Fibonacci levels form a squeezed cluster. So first we start to label this price movement as an ABCD and then measure the length of the CD leg based on the AB leg by using the Fibonacci projection tool. Based on what we learned earlier, we have three options for completing the CD leg. This leg is equal to the AB leg at $63,000. And it's equal to 1.27 times the length of the AB phase at $69,000. And finally, it's equivalent to 1.618 times the length of the AB phase at the $77,000 level. But as you can guess, there is only one answer here, and we must use other guidelines and leads to find the correct answer or, as we discussed earlier, the correct PRZ. To do that, we measure the retracement of the C point. As you can see, the C point retraces the AB leg by almost 50%. So we anticipate that the D point reaches the 2BC extension at the $66,000 level base on what we have learned from this table. So as you can guess, the 1.618 level will be eliminated from our calculations because it's far away from the $66,000 level where the CD leg is twice the BC leg. When we face situations like this where two different zones have almost the same length, we can use other helps to pick the right one. For example, we can use the Fibonacci time zone to find out at which time on the chart the CD leg is equal to the AB leg. As you can see by using this technique, we can guess that the price will probably reach the second zone. If you're looking for more confirmation, you should pay attention to these apparent divergences in weekly and daily timeframes, and you may consider going short after forming this bearish engulfing candle in the weekly time frame around $58,700. This example illustrates a bullish ABCD pattern. Crypto traders remember when Bitcoin lost more than 70% of its value from July 2019 to March 2020. In fact, the entire plunge was just a correction in the shape of an ABCD pattern, and after that market surged. We can label this structure as an ABCD and try to speculate the completion of this pattern at point D. First of all, by using the Fibonacci projection tool, we find that the CD phase is equal to the AB leg at around $4,800. And the CD phase is equivalent to 1.27 times the length of the AB leg at $3,900. And finally, CD phase is equal to 1.618 times the length of the AB leg at $3,000. To narrow down our possibilities and find the exact PRZ, we measure the retracement of the C point. As you can see, the C point retraces the AB leg by 0.618 or 61.8%. So we expect that the D point reaches the 1.618 BC extension at $4,800 which is nearly the same level that AB leg equals CD leg. 
You may wonder why the price has been able to touch lower levels such as 4000, and the answer is when fear or greed dominates the market, the shadows of candles can get very tall and trigger the stop loss for many traders. In such cases, line charts can help us and as you can see, the main bodies of the candles drop down to the $4,800 level, which happens to be our main PRZ. Another interesting fact is that the shadows of the candles have finally stopped at the $4,000 level, which is our next PRZ. In fact, the ability of the index to stabilize immediately after hitting the PRZ is a vital factor in the validity of a successful reversal. And after that, the price held its ground and rallied nicely to reverse the downtrend. As we saw in the first example, the ideal patterns are those whose internal legs have a Fibonacci relationship in price and time. But in this example, you notice that although the A, B and C, D legs were not significantly related to each other in terms of time, the pattern still worked well. Another critical point to remember is that in a perfect A, B, C, D, price movement following the completion of the pattern is of utmost significance. In this way, the price should not enter a correction phase and should move away from the PRZ immediately after a short delay. In the end, if this video motivated you to know more about harmonic trading, subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. Thanks for watching.